Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make the Happy Dragon Fruit. I think it turned out super adorable. I know I made it went a little crazy with the um, the leaves on it, but I think it turned out super cute this way. And of course, since it's my interpretation of it, and this is what it looks like, and it's cute. So, um, of course, if you're looking at this, you might notice that it has a lot of leaves on it, which we haven't had to make anything ahead of time for quite a while. Um, but these do need to be made ahead of time, so I'll show you how to do that. There's basically four tiers of layers, um, or four tiers of leaf length. Um, the longest ones being up at the top, and then they get shorter as they go down towards the bottom. Um, Band-wise, there are 292 pink in total on this guy, and then 155 green on the leaves one to three black bands, depending on if you used uh, the seven millimeter pony beads for the eyes or if you do wrapped bands, and then I used white for the cheeks, so it is a little band heavy, but it's super adorable, so I love it. And let's see, I'm going to show you how to make the leaves. Um, I actually still need to make, um, for the tutorial, to, to make one of each level, so I'm going to make all of those and show you how they are made. You can make four on the loom at one time, so if you watch um, how I do each level. It's not, um, the base of the leaf is the same, it's just the length of the little top that's different. So if you kind of watch how I do each level, you can do all four that we need for the top three levels um, at one time, and then the bottom we do need five of the leaves, so this gets a little bit more, one more at the bottom, but it doesn't take too super long. So I'll go through how to make the leaves, and then um, you can pause it to make the rest of them that you'll need to, and then I'll show how to make the eyes and the cheeks as well. But, super cute. I think he turned out adorable. I know it's a little crazy, but it's way. So, we need a loom. I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to have my red arrow over here. And you're going to want the color of your dragon fruit, the pink on this one. I know this is a little brighter than what dragon fruit would normally be, but that's um, that's the pink that I didn't, I guess I didn't have another pink that kind of matched more of the kind of deep hot pink that they are, so it's going to be pink again. So we're going to take one band, this entire thing is, um, everything we put on the loom here is single banded. Um, there's little differences in the parts that we add on later, but single banded for now. What we're going to do is just start down here at this first pin and do a zigzag all the way down the loom to the end. So one band, start right here, and then zigzag down. Cat has been acting a little crazy the last hour in here running around playing with things. So hopefully she settles down a little bit. Her favorite is to play with the plastic bags that I still haven't picked up from before. I'll get there. It's kind of fun going shopping and getting a bunch of things, then you get home and you're like, okay, let's put those down and go do something for right now and I forgot to put them back. Alright, so I zigzagged all the way down the loom. Now you're going to want whatever green color you're going to use. I know that I just did these kind of all one color, but I thought it would look really neat if you um, variegated the ends, so like a lighter green into a darker green, but of course when I went to make the ones ahead of time for the tutorial I forgot about it, so they're going to be all green again. So what we're going to do is these six bands are the bottom of one leaf. So we're going to make a little zigzag of four bands right above in the leaf. Like that. 
So then here's the next leaf. We'll do the same thing. So we're skipping kind of a little triangle area right here and doing another zigzag of four bands. Like that. Then the next leaf. And the last one. So there's four leaves laid out. And now what you want to do is take one band and you're going to set it on the end of every kind of green triangle. Like so. So I'm going to start with showing how to make the longest leaf, which you will need four of. And to make that, you're going to take a green color, or whatever color you want for the leaves there, put it on your hook, wrap it around one time, like that, figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and you're going to take one band, pull it through the cap band on your hook, put both ends back onto the hook, kind of center it a little bit. Then you're going to take two bands, pull it through everything on your hook, and then put that back on the hook. I'm going to do that one more time with two bands. So this is what you need to add on for the longest ones that go on the top. So then all we do is take our hook and what's on it, We'll come down to this first one, grab that band we dropped, pull it through, and put it back onto the pen. And you go back through the center, grab that other drop band, pull it through, and put it back on the hook. So that is for the longest one, and like I said, you need four of those. The next level down is just a little bit shorter. So one band on your hook, wrap it around once into the figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then take one band, pull it through, both ends on your hook, and then take two bands and pull them through. So that's all we need for the next tier. So it's just shorter by one of the double bands. Then we do the same thing, come over here, grab that drop band, pull it through, back onto the hook, or back onto the pin, and then go back to the center, grab that other drop band, and put that on the pin. So that's what you need for the second tier of leaves, and that one is, you'll need four of them as well. Third tier, one band, on your hook, wrap it around one time, grab both, wrap it around again, grab one band, pull it through, and that's all we need for the second or the third tier ones. So we do the same thing, grab the drop band, pull it through, grab the other band and pull it through. So that is the third tier of leaves, and you'll need four of those as well. And then, if you can guess, our last tier, we need one band on the hook, wrap it around one time, grab both bands, wrap it around again, and then this is all that we're going to use to pull these bands through. So I'll grab that drop band, pull it through that cap band, back onto the pin, find our center again, grab that other drop band, and pull it through and back on the pen. So that's for the fourth and bottom tier and this one you will need five of them. So I'll show you how to loom these and to take them off the loom 
in succession so that you um, can you know get them mixed up but so we'll start with the shortest one here I guess I should say um, if you stopped and if you watched all this first and saw um, I would probably do like all four of the longest ones I need all four of the next longest one all four of the last longest one and then do all four of these then one more of the short ones so on your loom so you're kind of not mixing them up but however is easiest for you to do that that would work but I figured showing them all at once instead of doing each one individually would probably be a good idea so we're gonna start by looming this out these are kind of like our fake cap bands so we're gonna go through each one of them grab the top band pull it back towards itself for each one through here we're only gonna be working on one leaf at a time So you pull those through, then you're going to come back to kind of our, and the three on the next row, go through them, grab the top band, pull it back towards itself, and do that for all of them. Like so. We only want to do one leaf at a time because if we would have done, loomed out the second one up the loom, then when we looped over this one, it would come over and trap these bands right here, and we don't want them to be connected. So I'm going to take this one off. So I'm just going to stick my hook down through every pin and grab the bands. Now this last one, I'm just grabbing those top two. Pull it off the loom. Then you're going to want to grab two bands the color of your dragon fruit and pull them through. I found that if I put both ends on the hook again kind of give it a little stretch that I can take my hook out without the bands falling out. Hopefully your bands do the same thing otherwise you'll have to find something to place these on. There isn't really a whole lot of room left on the loom for all of them to be put on unless you do less than four at a time. So a pencil or another hook or something else if you need to, but they will, or at least mine, stay this way, so I can just set them aside. So these are the shortest ones, and you need five of those. And we'll go ahead and do this, loom out the next one, so it's all the same for looming out the rest of the leaves. Just going in through that top, looming down the green, and then coming back and looming out the pink level. And stopping there, and then taking off two more bands through, back on the hook for a little stretching, and take your hook out. So that's the next longest here. You need four of those. I will put all this stuff in the description box below as well, um, as best as I can explain it. Um, so hopefully if you have, still have questions about what I did here, that will explain it a little bit better. We just need to loom these out. It's all the same. I'm going to take these off as well. So this is the third tier for length, or I guess technically the second tier. Um, so you need four of those. And then this is, the, I guess, the top tier that goes on first. They're the longest. You need four of those, too. off. 
So again, there's four different sizes of leaves. The three biggest ones, you need to have four of them, and then the smallest one, you need five. So I'm going to go through how to do the eyes and the cheeks, and then if you need to pause it, or if, you have, if you've already paused it, to make um, the number of leaves that you need for the sky. The eyes, I'm going to use 7mm pony bead, or a 4mm four, four by 7mm pony bead is what it is. Um, all you want to do is find a piece of craft wire, string, thread, floss, anything you can get into a V-shape to pull two bands through into the center, close it up, and then thread it through your bead, like that. Take out your threading tool. So that's a beaded eye band, you would need two of them. If you don't have beads or don't want to use beads, then just a band, whatever color you want your eye to be, on the hook, wrap it around one time into a figure eight, grab both bands, wrap them around again, and then take two bands, the color of your dragon fruit, and pull them through. And that would be a wrapped band eye band, so you would need two of those as well. The cheeks are made the same way as the eye bands, or the wrapped eye bands. It's one band, whatever color you want your cheeks to be. On the hook, wrap it around one time in a figure eight. Grab both bands, wrap them around again and then take two bands, color of your dragon fruit, and pull them through. Like that. And you would want two of these as well. So, you want to pause now and get your leaves ready ahead of time so that you're ready to go. And for those of you who have come back to me to finish the rest of this, um, we're going to be working on eight pins and I'm going to start kind of up here on the fourth pin from the middle on the wrong end of the loom. And we're going to take two bands and I'm going to make kind of a half circle on this end. So fourth pin up, come down into the left and then just go around in a half circle around. like that. And we're going to do the same thing from this pin right here, just opposite, so from the center to the four pins around. like that. And then you're going to want a cat band onto this pin right up here. So it's two bands wrapped around probably three times. Doesn't need to be super tight because if, even if there was a hole up there it gets hidden by the top. So. so what you're going to do is go in through the cat band that we just put on, grab the top two bands and pull them back towards themselves all the way around this pin. And once you've done that, you're going to take the cap band and stretch it down to this pin down here. And if you need to, pull it up on the other side of this pin so that it is these bands that are stretching instead of the cap band. So to help loosen up the tension around here as you pull these up so you don't get any snapped bands. And then usually if they get stuck like that, I'll just take my hook kind of pull it around. like that. I'm just going to swing this up on the other side too so it's all centered. So go ahead and push those down. So now we're going to do a row around but we are going to start adding that first tier of leaves. So we want the very longest ones 
that have the the cap band single and then two double chains pulled through them. So you want to get those. And we're going to put them in specific spots. So um, I'm going to start right here. And this one will be a leaf one. So you just want to find those two bands that are pulled through the bottom. Grab them and stretch them out. And that's going to go right on these two, between these two pins. Like that. Next space over is two bands. Next space over is going to be a leaf. And then again, two bands. And a leaf again. So if you can guess, we're alternating around. Make sure you don't lose any. So there's a leaf, and the next one will be two bands. And another leaf right here. And then two bands. So you can see where we put them here. So put them towards the inside so they're not in my way. So what we're going to do is flip over the bottom four bands all the way around. like that. So you should have four bands left on every pin. So you can push those down a little bit. Now we're going to increase though. So how we're going to do that is we actually want to increase in the middle. So what we're going to do is take these three pins right here and we're going to move the bands down to the next three. So I'm just going to take my hook, go in through here, grab those bands that are on the pin and just pull them up a pin like that. And I'm going to do that for these middle ones and the left side as well. Like that. So now these two pins are going to be empty for our increase. On the left side, as long as you laid your bands the same way that I did, um, your increase is going to be, you're actually going to pick up all these bands and bring them down to this pin down here. Then grab the top two bands and bring them back down to this pin that they were on. We just want this band on this pin to loop around to this top pin and the bands right here will loop around to the bottom pin. We didn't want them crossed so that's why we had to do it that way. On this side though we just need to pick up the top two bands and pull them up towards that upper pin. So now I'll we'll push those down. Now we're going to do a row all the way around with two bands. So two bands. Just lay them around our oval. like that. And we're going to flip over the bands underneath. On most of them it'll be the two bands, but then when we increase it's just, or it'll be the four bands, but then when we increase it'll be two bands. So where the increase is it's just two bands to go over. But all the other ones are four. Like 
that. Just moving my bands around a little bit. So you want to push these down. And we're going to do another row around exactly the same way. So two bands all the way around. like that. Then you're going to flip over the bottom four bands all the way around. Like that. Push everything down. So now what we're going to do is do our eye row, but we're also going to add leaves at the same time. So we can put our eyes on first, and they're going to go in the front right here. Let's get your eye bands and set them on. Then in this space right here, we're going to have two bands. The next space is going to be the next longest leaves that you have. So these are the ones that have a cap band, single, and then a double through the, the base of the leaves. Too much stuff in my way here. So find your bands you pulled through. Go ahead and put it on the loom. And kind of tuck it towards the inside so it's not in the way quite as much. Next space is going to be two bands. And this back corner is going to be another leaf. Next space is two bands. So again, we are just alternating as we go around to another leaf now. And then two bands. And then a leaf. Kind of right next to his eye. Like that. So that's where the leaves go this round. I'll tuck these back in. So then you're going to flip over the bottom four all the way around. It's actually the second time I filmed this tutorial first time I got it all up and loaded and went to edit it and there was some kind of distortion and it made everything look like it was um, like rainbow pixelated. I was like, oh man, that stinks. So I got a little frustrated and deleted all the files and started doing some other stuff on the computer and I'm like, pull up a web browser and I was like, God, the web browser's even pixelated. I'm like, oh man, I'm so silly because it was a problem with my monitor, not my videos. So I. was not 
not a happy camper. So that means I have to replace my monitor. But it happens. Luckily I just make my hubby do it because he's all computer stuff, so. So we got those all flipped around. Next row is going to be our cheek row. So you want your cheeks. And they're going to go right here in front of where the eyes are. But I'm filling it a second time because for whatever reason, when I deleted them, although I normally just send them to my recycle bin, I must have actually um, just deleted the had to delete them entirely because they were too big for the recycle bin with everything else I already had in there. But it's two, bin, two bands all the way around. Which happens sometimes, so... Because you would not believe how much space on a computer videos take up. Just gone through a terabyte drive is a lot. So it's kind of... I'm going to be looking for a bigger drive too. Because I always like to keep a copy of my videos on my own computer instead of just relying on YouTube to have them. So that'd be bad if they got deleted. So we went all the way around. So you flip over the bottom four. Push those down. So now we're going to add the mouth, which is going to go right here on this pin in the front. I'm just going to turn this around and make it a little easier. So whatever color you want your mouth to be, you put it on your hook and wrap it around to a figure eight. Then you're going to go and lift up these bands that are on the pin here in the front, pull them off the pin, slide down your mouth band, and then put the bands back onto the pin. So like that. So we're going to do another row around with just two bands all the way. that. Then you'll flip over the bottom four. Sometimes when I'm making tutorials and filming and stuff, I feel like I'm back in college because I'm trying to meet a deadline for things. And I remember once I had a PowerPoint presentation that was due and something happened in the saving that the file got corrupted. So I had lost like everything from my PowerPoint the night before the presentation. So I had to scramble and fix it all. And would have been like so horrible, but there were other people who were relying on it as well, so it's like I was up all night fixing that. That was horrible. Next is we're going to do another row around with our leaves. So you want the next leaf length, which is the ones that have the cap band with the single through it. And then the regular the rest of it. So I'm gonna put these in specific spots as well. I'm just going to start right here in the front. It's going to be two bands. And then right here, it's going to be our next leaf. And then two bands.
then our next leaf. And then two bands again. And our next leaves. And then two bands. And then our next leaves again. two bands for the next two spots. So it looks like this. And there's where our leaves went this round. So again flip over the bottom four all the way around. Like so. Push all the bands down. And then we're going to do a row around with just two bands. All the way. So the leaves are kind of getting in the way now on the sides just because they're stuffed in there, but it's not too bad. like that, two bands all the way around. And again, flip over the bottom four. Try not to hook things and pull them off. Somebody, or a couple people have said that they're glad that I leave some of my bloopers in, or boo-boos, so that they learn how to fix things, but probably leave in the ones where I spend like 10 minutes fixing something. Those ones will probably be really helpful. Push everything down again. So we're going to do our final leaf row. And this one we are going to have a leaf right here in the front. And these are the short one with just the cap band at the top. Then we'll have two bands. And another leaf. And then two bands. And a leaf here in the back. I should say next because there's technically two back spots in the alternating pattern. And two bands. And then another leaf.
this last one. All right, and then the next spot will be two bands. And then another leaf. I feel like I'm saying leaf really weirdly. I probably am. I'll just blame it on my Midwestern accent here. And the last spot right here is going to be two bands. So then we will go ahead and flip these around, be the bottom four bands. All the way around. Like that. So you should have four bands left. Push your bands down. Now what we're going to do is reduce the top band up here and the bottom band right here in the front. So you go in, grab the top two bands, see where they're coming from. Mine are coming from the left, so I'm going to cross them over to the right. And then the other band should just go over to the left. Then in the front, grab the top two bands. Mine are coming from the left, so they're going to come over to the right. And grab the other ones, and they'll go over to the left. So we're going to do another row around with just two bands. So there'll be a long stretch in the front. And those leaves are in the way, so just kind of push them out of there. Squish it. Because it is kind of squishy. We're almost done. I'm hoping I didn't bore you with all my computer talk. I have to think of something funner to talk about next time. then go ahead and flip over the bands. On the ends here then you're going to have that reducing band, or two reducing bands to flip over, and then the bottom four bands. And there'll be four bands in the middle. And then on the end it's going to be the two reducing bands and then the four bands underneath. Then here we have the reducing bands again and the four bands underneath and then the four bands in the middle and then again the reducing bands and the four bands underneath. So now we are ready to close this guy off. I'm going to use my latch hook to do it because it's just that much simpler to do it. Um, there aren't a super um, amount of bands, so you probably could get them all on your rainbow loom hook. Otherwise, make that threading band, um, which is, I think most people know how to make them. They're just basically kind of like a slip knotted row of bands to thread through each one of your pins before you take it off. But I like the latch hook because it uses, it's very nice. So I'm going to start in the back. I'm going to kind of cover the pins on this side with my fingers so that they don't pull off before I'm ready for them to. I'm just going to go in and grab all the bands around. Okay. 
And then I'm going to take two bands and make sure that my hook flips over as I slide it down. Pull it through. I'm going to put the other end on the hook and then slide these down past the little latch and then close. Like that. And I'll take my hook and stick it in through the back somewhere. Come down and grab my tails and pull them down in. And then what you need to, or what you don't, might not need to, I guess it depends, but um, if you have like the, like the bottom ones here, they're almost. Okay, this looks like something. I can't remember what it is. It's like a little fire guy. If anybody remembers, let me know. Um, but anyways, these might be kind of poking the wrong way. Any of them might be depending on where they're positioned. You'll just need to either, you can use your fingers and grab all the bands that are like at that bottom pink row and just rotate them up so that they point up instead of or kind of towards the top anyways instead of be all crazy but they are kind of crazy on the dragon fruit as far as like at the end points so once you have all those positioned you can do it with the other ones as well they kind of lay flat next to the side and then it's the little ends here that tend to kind of go crazy so you can position those how you want them to as well but find your end and slide them any which way you want and they should stay there pretty well But just adjust anything that kind of got distorted from being smushed on the loom. And my guy waving hello. Super cute. I hope you think so too. And like I said, I know it's kind of, might be a little bit dramatic, but I think it looked really cute that way. And when I had less on there, it just seemed like, I don't know, it was too blah. And they're supposed to make you smile, so. And of course, I know there are a few of you out there who are omitting my faces when you make these, so if you do that, then you'll just have to figure out where to add the extra leaves and how many more you need, but I think it turned out super cute. I hope you think so, too. You can kind of have the reserved straight-up one or have a little bit of a crazy one, but they do sit up pretty well, which I think is awesome, although you can't really see very well. Super cute. Sorry for my shadows. But I want to thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoy these guys. Um, I definitely have more of them on the way. Or more, not more of them, but more Happy Foods on the way. Um, I know kind of people were freaking out a little bit when I put out the Hello Kitty and they're like, oh man, is she done with the Happy Foods and you know, we're not ready, there's still more. and. And I agree, there still are a lot more that I still have to get to that either, I mean, there's so many designs that I have sitting here that I, there's a few things I want to perfect on them, and then other ones it's just the um, finding the time to get them filmed and edited and out, and especially when I get sidetracked by doing things like the Hello Kitty stuff, so um, just kind of doing all the different things that I enjoy, and the Happy Foods are definitely still some of those, so... Um, don't be afraid, I'm not done yet. I have a lot more to do. There's a lot more fruits and vegetables and junk food or food out there that are coming. So, But if you make these awesome dragon fruit, I would love to see them on my Instagram, which is at Crafting Fantastic, or on my Facebook page, which is Feelings 50 or Crafting Fantastic. There's a link underneath the video, which you can use. And then, of course, 
subscribing to my channel here, feeling spiffy, would be fantastic. That way you know when I have more things coming out. But I want to thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will have more for you soon.